What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and this is my review of the new BBC series and Netflix series Bodyguard. Bodyguard stars Richard Madden and Keely Hawes and this is a show that is, it was a mini series, it was only six episodes long. However, it is getting renewed for a series two, which makes total sense. This show was so popular in England that it was like the highest watched series finale ever. 17 million people watched the series finale, which was incredible, by the way. So each episode is an hour long, and it follows on the journey of this PPC, David Budd. David Budd is hired on to be the security lead for this politician, Home Secretary, Julia Montagu. And this is a show I had heard a lot about, and I was very intrigued by the premise and from what other people were talking about, if you've read any of the reviews for this show, it's spot on. It's incredible. I did a I did a review of season one of Cobra Kai. You can go check that out. This is my second show I've ever reviewed. All in this year, this is the best show of the year. Probably the best miniseries I've ever seen. Probably the best BBC series I've ever seen. This series just glued me in and really the whole time that this series is going on there's this whole conspiracy vibe that a certain person dies I don't want to say who it is I don't want to give too much away there's no spoilers a certain person dies and the rest of the time in the series they're trying to figure out who killed this person and why and so the police officers in this show they are investigating and so they're trying to link every single person that could be associated with this killing. Now, the killing is, this show deals a lot with terrorists, and so it's a bombing, I should say bombing, but this show does something to me where other shows don't, where this show literally glues me in. I am invested, I'm invested in these characters, especially David Budd, Richard Madden. He works so well in this show so well. I didn't really know him before. I know he was in Game of Thrones, but this guy, he deserves to be in a lot more stuff. Like, Hollywood, get on it. Hire this guy for stuff. He is incredible. His performance in this show just instantly just made me so attracted to his character. I was so invested in everything that David Budd was going through, where I literally had no idea what was happening. Because there are times in this show where David Budd's character, he's like the good guy. But then there's other times in the show where it's you're confused. You're like, well, wait a second. Is he really like an inside man? Is he bad, but on the outside looks good? Like, there's so many things that go on. It, it definitely plays with your head. I don't want to get into spoilers. Um, that's why I'm trying to be very careful and walk this very thin line on this review. But David Budd in this show worked. And Richard Madden, he should win you know, a British Emmy, he should even win Emmy for this. I mean, he was so compelling. Keely Hawes, as Julia Montague, was also really good in this show. She had this very cold personality. She was very distant, and you kind of saw those walls kind of break down, and you understood why she was the way she was, but at the same time, she was kind of corrupt in her own ways. It, it kind of seems like everyone in this show, they, you're, they're suspicious. You don't know the fate of, of these characters, and you don't know what it is that they've done, their past, what they're doing now. People are working kind of behind the scenes, and when you feel like you, you're understanding something and you're kind of solving this problem or solving the crime, you're completely out of left field. You're not even right, and that's, that's what's so great about this show. This show is a mystery, drama, conspiracy, action show. There's some great action in this show, by the way, too. Even in the first episode, first 15 minutes, whoo, whoo, good stuff. It takes so many different turns that it messes with what your expectations are and who you think is working with certain individuals and who's not. And I love that about this show. It, it's so awesome to watch something like this that's so refreshing, that's so new, that can really challenge your mind and can help you try to solve the mystery for yourself. Even though I, I didn't, I, I couldn't put two and two together. I had no idea. I was like, wait, what's going on? What's going What's happening with this? And the character David, but I, this is my last thing I'm going to say about 
David Budd. The character of David Budd worked so well that when he was, when it looked like he was doing something bad, I was trying to justify for him. I was like, what? You people are crazy. Why? He would never do that. He's such a good person. And that's what's so compelling about the characters in this show. You get so wrapped in to the conflict. You're getting so wrapped into these intricate webs that are happening within these character driven moments and within these character progressions and that's what is so interesting about this this show and that works so well this show if you have not seen it if you have netflix check it out it is so worth your time it's a show that honestly i I cannot wait for them to make a second series to this because i want to see the continuation i felt like what we got it tied everything together but there's still some like loose ends that can be solved. And if you watch the show, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And it kind of seems like the last, the only negative is the last like 15 minutes of the final episode was kind of quick. I felt like they were, they were just trying to just boom, get their point out there. And you don't really get that ending that you want, that, that ending that you've been craving. You don't get that. I mean, you get the ending that you want, but you don't get the satisfying ending that you want. But this is a show you got to check it out. It's really great. I don't watch a lot of television. I, I watch Stranger Things. I watch Bodyguard now. I did watch The Walking Dead. But this is a show worth your time. You could binge this show really quickly. But anyway, guys, this is my review of Bodyguard. Let me know your thoughts right below if you've seen Bodyguard. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let's start a discussion in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new because I post content like this all the time guys. I post reviews on movies I post you know blu-ray unboxings sometimes more like Disney Movie Club unboxings and many more reviews to come Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video Goodbye